2009 Junior High Soccer Champs. The best coach. Oh, yeah. Eric and Eric. Two goalie right here. Uh, he, beginning of the season, he couldn't do more than one push-up. Um, <laughs> he still can't do three push-ups in a row, but it's, it's entertaining watching him try, try to do the push-ups. But uh, Brian did a really good job. Uh, what was your uh, favorite part of the season? you have a favorite part, favorite game? Uh, yes, with McCabe. McCabe, when you almost allowed the goal? Uh, no, the, the best thing was, was more than because I crashed with the, with the player. You, you hurt the other little yeah. player? Okay, alright. And who, who's your favorite coach? Oh, I think Mr. Quintana. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, for that no, interview. No, no. Thank you. <laughs> you alright, bro. It's over. I go, I go, <laughs> you no, no, no. no. <laughs> alright, let's get uh, another. Let's uh, get no, no, no. Let's I, another. I know let's this trophy. Yeah, yeah. Let's interview hey, someone else. I, I know this trophy is little, uh -huh. but this means that. The, the, the team, all the team, the whole team, and that's for CMS. For CMS, all right, thank you. Thank you. I'm standing here with Leo, it's our forward. I feel tall actually standing next to him. Uh, but uh, he was our leading goal scorer. Uh, how many goals did you score this season? Seven. Seven goals, all right. Did you enjoy playing? Are you glad you're champions? Okay, all right, so this is Leo. What was your favorite, favorite part of the season? Your favorite part? Westmoreland? How many goals did you score against Westmoreland? Wow, you didn't share the ball, did you? Of course not. All right, thank you. Hi, my name is Mr. Burns, and I am uh, the athletic director here at CMS, and I also teach English and math and reading to 7th and 8th grade. And I'm also in charge of the junior high sports, and um, I've been here for three years, and as you can see, this is our second championship in boys junior high soccer. Junior high, um, we have boys soccer, we have girls volleyball, and we have boys and girls softball, and boys and girls basketball. And we've been doing this program in junior high for, this is our third, third season. Well, for junior high, it's really nice. Uh, kids from 6th grade to 8th grade can participate. So you have 6th graders, 7th graders, and 8th graders can participate in any of the sports. Um, they do need to have good grades, um, so they need to make sure that they don't have uh, numerous Fs or, or getting in trouble in detention after school. Um, expectations for any CMS athlete is you need to take care of business in the classroom first. 
Um, you need to be a good student, and then after that, you can participate in sports. But uh, we're open to everyone, and uh, we love to have people participate. And even if you don't know how to play the sports, if you come to a CMS team, uh, the coaches uh, will work with you and teach you how to play that sport. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. You're not penalized. Practice is three days a week. It's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uh, from 3.15 to 4.30. So you can get home and still do homework. That's right. And eat um, on time. Uh, but you cannot miss practice. Uh, if you miss more than three practices, you are dismissed off the team. Uh, playing basketball or playing any sports, soccer or baseball or softball, takes a commitment. And you have to be committed. And uh, so the expectations here are that you have to be at practice. If you miss three or more, then you're not committed and you're not serious. And um, then we let you go and, and do whatever it is you have to do. But we want, uh, in order to be successful, you have to practice. And we need everyone here at practice all the time. Well, the sports program goes back to, to uh, it's not just myself, but back to when Mr. Uh, Garcia was here. Um, and he was really involved and wanted to do something with the junior high. So we got together and, and we decided to put our junior high uh, classes into a league here in, in, the, in the Imperial Valley. And we play different schools around. And, uh, and it kind of started off rough in the beginning. I had to beg people to come out to junior high soccer to try out and play. Uh, we had to beg people to come and play uh, girls volleyball. Uh, so the first year was kind of difficult, barely had enough students to play. Uh, but each year we had more kids participating um, and more people trying out. This last year we had over 30 kids trying out for this boys soccer team. So it was, it was really nice. And um, so I'm really excited. We've won about four championships in the last three years. Um, so I think our program is going in the right direction and I'm looking forward to it, to it improving. This is our first year we're going to have a full junior high girls softball team. Uh, so as you can see, the program continues to improve and get better as we have more uh, students participating and getting excited about CMS sports.